In 2017, Iwata worked with the Frontier Tech Hub to install the smart taps in rural locations in Tanzania. Iwata has already implemented smart tap in the Gambia and Ghana. But with the grant from UK aid, the product was improved and made fit for the purpose in Tanzania to make sure it worked for the community here. Kapla ya madi ya imota, tuwoto na tumea hae madi ya korobo, ya boba ya mbinde, haya na usalama. Sikopo haya ni mazuri spuridu, maana ya naweke wa dawa tulatuwo. The problem is, I would like to think, really simple to understand. One billion people in the world didn't have and still don't have access to clean water. The government agencies and NGOs out there that were trying to fix this problem over the last 25, 30 years have been doing it by rolling out water infrastructure, but they have failed to make those water systems sustainable. About 40% of all water systems failed within two years of those organizations installing them in developing countries. And so that was, the, that was the problem that we came together to try to solve. How can we make these water systems continue to work every single day and work 24 hours a day without failing any time in the future? You know, at its worst, think of a child of eight who, instead of going to school, has to carry a bucket for a number of like eight, say eight to 10 kilometers to the nearest tap to fill it, to bring it back to his family for the day. And when he gets there, or when she gets there, the tap's broken. The impact on day-to-day -day life and the ripple effect to missed education, to the child's burden, often of having to collect the water, the physical labor involved, it's grim. eWater is a sustainable water services company that uses technology and IoT to deliver uh, water services in developing countries, specifically for rural areas. My name is Hussein Ali Masomo. I'm an employee at eWater Service and I'm the head of maintenance in Tanzania. Yeah, I'm also the engineer. so. In any case of uh, doing the maintenance, I'm also involved using the dashboard and also going to the field. That's part of my job. Here, where we are, it's Endanachan in Babati, Manyara region. These smart taps were put, uh, kept in the rural area to help the villagers get water. Before the smart taps were being installed, uh, especially in Endanachan, uh, we were using the standing pipe. So uh, having all information from the villagers, uh, they had several reasons uh, and problems they were facing before the smart taps were installed. One of them, uh, they had to use a reseller. Okay, by that time, uh, we use the word reseller now since we have the smart taps. By, that, by then, it was not the reseller. We called them Mama Maji and Baba Maji. Those are the people who uh, uh, had, uh, were not employed really, but they were given uh, uh, what we call te uh, temporary job uh, to be standing uh, as the uh, reseller in the meters. So we call them Baba Maji and Mama Maji. They were paid according to uh, what they, uh, they are selling. So if you sell uh, 50,000 shillings per day, that's when you take it to the uh, CBOS's office, then you are given the 30%. Mimi kwa jina naitwa Rajabu Haimale. Tatu ni kuwa wakala wa usambazaji wa uzaji wa maji kwa mfumo wa iwata. Kwa hiyo nimefanya kazi hii ya kwa muda wa miaka kwa kweli watu wa Indonesia. Sababu wakati huo tulikuwa hatuna maji. Na kweli kwamba wakati ule tulikuwa tumeweka kila mmoja vitu vyote 13 vikiwa na kila mmoja anauza maji anasimamia. Na kuuza maji kwa kweli ilikuwa ni changamoto mara kwa watu wanagombana, wanapata matosi na kipato chake ni asilimia 30 ya mapato tu. Ndogo sana. Kwa hiyo unakuta mtu anasema mimi na bana natukana kwa sababu hii kazi ndogo. During that time uh, the, the, the villagers themselves did not like the way uh, they were treated by the uh, resellers. 
Kwa madina yangu naitua Ana Danu Uviesu. Ni mama mwenye nyumba na watoto watano. Kazi yangu mimi ni kwa kulima. Kapla ya huu mradi kulipo na changamu. Mana utaputa mtu yupo kwenye majukumu yake, hayupo. Utafika hapa bobani, utakaa, utasubiri. Maka atakapo, utakua umepoteza muda wako mwingi sana. Lakini huu mradi ni mzuri, hauna mwudo wanaopoteza ni dakakano na yana unachota, unarudi mwepata maji ya. Ndiyo manufaya, maji haya tunayo pata this. The way back uh, before our smart taps, it's true, we had a lot of animals, dangerous animals. So it wasn't uh, safe for a kid to go very far from home just to get water. Sometimes even the kid never came back. Kapla huu mbae, haro leto wajan. Kwa tumetewa rinini. Tumetewa ilimu, watu wapoma na soso, lakini badai watu kawa mbae, upoke, right. Wakawa, mame poke, mbae, kwezi. Badai, tukawa tunapewa ilimu, tunayimisho, tukawa tumeona kwa hivi, badai, sorry. Unabidi, tupofi mbae, hivi mbae, maisha yetu mana, kina mama, tulapana, wachanda moto, nyingu, tana ya mbae. Para o pouco longo nem falou que ele me deixa com a mãe. A tua cama é muito boa, se se tu é não vai querer com a mãe. So the two problems that we were actually trying to solve, we had to put technology in there to be able to make the water systems more efficient and more easily able to be maintained. Secondly, we had to be able to put in technology to be able to get people to pay for their water in an efficient manner, because obviously the payments were needed to be able to maintain the water system. The one thing that uh, is more important is the maintenance uh, team. So if we have a good maintenance team, uh, that means water will be available uh, uh, any time that they want it. So what uh, I heard about them is that they really love the, 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 the thing that water is available all the time. They don't have to find someone for them to give money so that they can get water. The thing that is so frontier about this project is how all the different technologies work together. Solar power pumps the water. People put credit on their tags using NFC and mobile money. The tag let people pay for the water. Sensor inside the tap track water supply, connectivity, and force in the system. The data from the sensor is transmitted using the Internet of Things. Then I can see it on my dashboard. The local authority can see it, the government can see it, the data we can see views the whole picture. The sensors themselves and the RFID itself would have created a product, and that product would have been fine. It's the Internet of Things connecting the taps to one another and making it like a financial system that actually turned it into a game-changing proposition. The thing I found so interesting about the dashboard is that you can be able to notice there is a problem without visiting the tab. So if you have to go to the tab, you have first to check on the dashboard, identify if it's the solar panel, then you can carry a uh, the tool that is needed, the spare part that is needed uh, whenever you want to go to the field. Kwa majina naitwa Mwanahawa Daudi Msuya. Mimi ni mama Alishe nafanyia mtawa jinyere. Napendelea kupika chapati, supo, wali, ugali, chips. Kabla mbianza mradi ambao tunao sasa hivi, ndo tulikuwa tunateseka na maji. Unakuta una hela yako cash kwa ajili ya kununua maji lakini unashindwa kupata kwa sababu mhudumu anakuwa bado hajafika. Na pili maji alikuwa ni yanakatika yana sana. Kwa maana hiyo tulikuwa tupati maji kwa muda. It is very important for uh, the villagers to have water 24/7. Every villager has his own activity. Someone may not be around his home for the whole day. So during the evening he may need water for cooking. He may need water for washing the buckets or even he may need water for drinking. So it's very important for them to have water 24-7. My name is Mike Simon Dehane. We are at Singida Urban Water Supply and Sanitation Authority. We have the authority of supply water in the Singida region. I'm working as a water supervisor to make sure the water system is operating well. You can see now 
people can fetch water at any time. When we have been using local, local agents, we used to have a specific time, 1 p.m. was the end of selling, selling water. But currently, in any time, they can go and fetch water. There's a lot of concern across a few of our pilots about the loss of jobs to technology. And I think the way that the eWater team worked through it was really, really elegant because what they did was they made the guys who used to man the taps part of the solution. Bring in the smart tab whereby you have credit on your tag. You have to put on a tab to get water. Uh, really simplified uh, the case of following the bills in the, uh, someone's house. So if you don't have credit uh, on your tag, that means you can't get water. So people had to put credit in order to get water. That's something in terms of revenue. But in terms of society, uh, it has helped a lot the society. Tunakuwa tunahitaji maji kila wakati kwa sababu matumizi yanakuwa kila mtu ana matumizi yake tofauti. Kwa maana hiyo mimi naweza nikawa nahitaji maji asubuhi, mwingine akahitaji mchana. Ndio maana tunahitaji maji masaa 24 kiawepo kwa sababu hata saa mbili usiku tunafika pale tunapata huduma ya maji. Kwa hiyo si tunafurahia sana kupata hiyo huduma sasa wananchi wanapata huduma bila shida kabisa kabisa. Hamna malalamiko sasa hivi kwa huduma iko vizuri. To drink uh, the water from our smart tap, you don't have to boil. It's very safe. And this tap helps even people during the rain season. So in order to drink uh, the rain water, they have to boil. And I think you have come across that in Endanachan. They don't boil water now. They usually drink and no one you here is having a disease using our smart taps, whereby the tank uh, is well protected and it's safe. You don't have to use boil water. The sensors in terms of water systems is evolving every year, really. You know, back five years ago, we were actually just looking at measuring the amount of water in a water tank and the amount of flow of water coming out of the water tank. But right now, there's a lot of emphasis, a lot of technology out there looking at how sensors can measure the quality of water. This is, I think, the next big thing that's going to be required out in developing countries with water systems is not only measuring whether a water system works or not, and how effective that water system is working, but also the quality of water. In Tanzania, we have 776 taps that are working. The taps have names, actually. There's this tap that I really love the most. It's called Ezekiel. So Ezekiel was one of the tap, first taps I've ever come across. So every day I would pray that this tap to be fixed. Then I discovered the case was only with the wire that I didn't notice at first. So when I changed the wire, I discovered the tap was working. I had to go home first and uh, check my dashboard. Is the tap still connected? Then I checked in the evening, the tap was connected. Then I had to wake up uh, in the midnight to check the tap again if it's still connected. The tap was connected. Then I had to wake up in the morning again and check if the tap is connected. Then it was connected. Then I was very happy, but I had to go there to see myself. I found out that there were almost uh, 70 people on the tap waiting for it. The tap is working and I was very happy and people were patient on the tap. The water is, has pressure. The people are getting water on time. Even the way they were speaking about the tap, you feel that the tap is, uh, is very good and it is doing something very beautiful to them. In a weird way, I think like that Internet of Things component creates a lot of quantitative data that allows us to ask qualitative questions 
that inform or next um, phase innovations in their own right. Now suddenly you have taps that are connected that are part of an internet of things that so you're able to say, hold on a second, why is it that these three taps are outperforming those five over there? What does that tell us about the placement of future taps? You just become like a much more intelligent system. So suddenly you have the possibility to generate new hypotheses about where to place the next taps. So it almost like becomes like an innovation making machine. Because then you can test that and then you get data around those new taps and you can figure it out. So it makes the whole system smart. What eWater has achieved is that we produced a model that works. We produce technology and a business model that makes water systems sustainable with water at an affordable price. There are a lot of ways on which the e-water smart tubs have improved uh, people's life. The Baba Maji and Mama Maji are free to do what they want. They can focus on their jobs. They can locate other opportunities. Nobody is hungry when the tap are closed. Communities are more peaceful. People help each other to access the water. All the time they would have spent waiting for water is saved. They don't lose business or money. They can spend more time with their families. The right money is being collected. Nothing is lost. The government knows people have water to stay clean and safe. They can have water whenever they want it and we can make sure it's always available.